Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to be given a in your exam. And today we're here with a presence check. So what is a presence check? Well, basically, we're making sure the user doesn't input anything, doesn't hit the space key once, or just spam the space key before entering something. So basically, if the user does one of those three things, and only one of those three things, then it's going to be an invalid input. If the user decides to enter anything apart from the space key, then it's going to be valid. So let's show you how to code it. Do you want to create a function? Presence check by val input as string as bo boolean. If string dot is null or white space input then return false. Underneath the end if we want to put return true. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna create an environment so we can call this method and test that it works. dim input as string equals space. If, if presence check, input, then console.write line valid. Console.read line. And I accidentally put a semicolon on there. We're going to copy and paste this for an else statement, which we're going to put underneath. Else. And we're going to return, make this in invalid. So that's quite literally all we're going to be doing. Now we're going to run it. As you can see, the input was a space and invalid was returned. If we put in a few spaces here, as you can see, it says invalid. Let's say we we'll to put in something like duck. It returns valid. Let's say we put a space after duck. It returns valid. Let's put a space before duck as well as after duck. It returns valid. So it works. So what's going on here? Well, basically, we have a function. It's going to take the value of the user input, not going to be referencing the variable input. We're just taking in the value and going to assign it to a local variable called input. The variable is local to this function. Therefore, only this function can interact with it. And once this function has finished executing, this variable will be destroyed. And this variable is a string. This function is a boolean function, meaning it's going to return a boolean value, either true or false. Basically, we're going to check with this input va val variable, which has the value of this input here, is there null or a white space in it? And does the null or the white space be the only thing that occupies this input? If so, then we're going to return false. Returning false means it's an invalid input. If um, this doesn't execute because it is a valid input, because there's more than just a space or a null, then it's going to return true, meaning that it's a valid input. We're, do we're going to do an if statement here with our variable that we have um, declared here. DIM, by the way, means declaring memory. Fun fact. We have an if statement here. We are calling our presence check. By default, if you just, if you just have... Um, some form of method or variable in this statement. We are by default checking that it's true. If you put an exclamation mark in front of it, like here, we are checking for false. That's a fun little shortcut for you guys. If the presence check returns true, we print valid because it's a valid input because there is more than just a white space occupying it. Otherwise, it's clearly got to be false. Therefore, invalid, we say it's invalid. Console.readLine, we just use to make sure that the, the text and the console application doesn't close. So it gives us a chance to actually view the output. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. I also cover Java and SQL on this channel. Thanks for being a great audience. And if you have a request, leave it in the comments below. And if I use your request, I shall give you a shout out. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.